Yo, what's happening guys? G-Man out here. Welcome back to Kibla Ahmed Art. This is Toe to Toe with G-Man. Uh, this is a series where I just kind of uh, react to and kind of comment on martial art movie fight scenes. Uh, we'll be going through loads of fight scenes, maybe the same movie twice with different fight scenes and whatnot from many different martial artists and actors and whatnot. From uh, Eastern movies to Western movies. We grew up with all this stuff. And I've uh, been doing martial arts for over, done martial arts as a kid. I've been doing it for over 10 years now properly. Uh, competed a little bit of amateur sort of uh, sandal fights, kickboxing fights. Tried to do some MMA stuff, didn't really work out. But anyway, I just wanted to, I got a passion for martial arts. And movies had a big influence on me and martial art movie stars. So for the first one, I had to go with the master, Bruce Lee. And uh, the way of the dragon. I uh, had to go with the epic fight scene with Chuck Norris, which is a great fight scene. Uh, this one came out in 1972. Uh, Bruce Lee, we all know, was ahead of his time in regards to thinking of martial arts. These days, it's all about mixed martial arts. Everyone knows about that. Uh, you can't stick to one style. You need to be able to fight in many different aspects of, of, of um, where the human body can go and where the fight can go from standing to clinch to floor. Wherever it needs to go, you know, that's where Bruce Lee was thinking about back in the 60s. Um, and uh, all the great fighters now, all the legendary fighters now, I'm talking about the big boy fighters, Bas Rutan, the Gracie family, Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre, Conor McGregor, whoever, they always referenced Bruce Lee. They knew Bruce Lee was ahead of his time. Uh, his thought process, you know, there's always this theory about, oh, he didn't fight and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, end of the day, he was a martial artist and he really studied the science of martial arts, the philosophy of martial arts, and just thinking about different ways of uh, expressing himself in martial arts. And he was the first one to be like, one of the first ones to be thinking, all right, my one style doesn't work. I need to figure out many different styles um, so I can fight in different angles, different um, scenarios, whatever. So he, he, realistically, he was like one of the first mixed martial artists out there. I'm sure he would have loved the way things turn out now. His philosophy was more in the street, so there was always the groin strikes, the eye pokes, all that sort of stuff that would have been involved in his philosophies. But end of the day, like I say, he's a martial arts legend. He's a martial arts master. His name's always, you know, going to be known for, you know, a legend. He's a legend. His name's going to be known forever. Um, and, as, and with the uprise of MMA and martial arts and mixed martial arts and whatnot, and again, his name is in there. Like I said, all the true fighters or true martial artists really respect him and his philosophies and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I want to react to this fight scene. This was an epic fight scene in the Colosseum. Um, freaking epic. Chuck Norris, obviously, he's a legend as well in the Western world, in the US and whatnot. All those funny memes about him, but he's a legend. Kickboxing, karate um, expert, he's done multiple world champion, uh, karate champion and stuff. So again, he's a legend and he, he was very close with Bruce Lee. He's also a mixed martial artist now. He does jujitsu, black belt jujitsu and everything, right? So, and I think that was the influence with Bruce Lee as well, you know, just having that mind frame and Bruce Lee just kind of influencing people that like, we got to learn different styles. Um, so yeah, let's kick this fight scene off. It's a long one, it's about 10 minutes. So uh, let's just kick this one off and react to this. The epic face off. See, that's awesome. Chuck Norris in his in his he's in his karate kimono or gi, and uh, got his black belt, just undressing it. It's wicked. Bruce Lee in his traditional Chinese outfit. I got one of those. Freaking epic. Man, he's got one hairy chest, boy. I think that was the Steves back in the seventies. The background looks bare fake, but anyway, I'm not here to concentrate and criticise the film. Why it's ripped, boy. For his time, it was ripped. See, I love this. Like, they're, they're honourable martial artists. They, you could see that from Chuck Norris having his gear and everything. Um, and they're warming up, you know, it's not like straight into it. They, they got this martial art respect with each other. They were freaking hell, look at those wings. Jesus. Um, the warm up, he's just doing his kata. That's wicked. I think that's amazing. I, I think, I, first of all, that just shows the, the respect that they have each other, with each other as, as martial artists. Even though it's a movie and basically they're trying to kill him, or it, I think it, this one's about he goes to um, 
help his family and they're being run up by some mobsters and whatnot so they hired Chuck Norris to, uh, to beat him up and kill him. But again, as a martial arts mind frame, they have that respect so they're like, all right, let's, we're going to battle to the death, but let's warm up. Amazing. It's not straight into it, but again, it's just that philosophy of martial arts within a movie and I'm sure Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris had that mentality, let's not just fight, let's put the, let's put the philosophy in there. All right, well, they're all warmed up, good to go. And they face off. That cat is jokes, man. Any spectators? Stance, man. It's quite a stance. Fast turning kicks, man. Front leg turning kicks. Kick to the face, man. In real life, probably got knocked out. But it's a will kick to the face. These traditional martial art kicks. Boy. Oh, grabbing the hair chest, man. <laughs> Hairy chest. Hey, if it's a real, real life scenario, you gotta do what you gotta do, and that's what Bruce Lee believed in. It's getting worked by the karate champion. Defense was a little bit basic there. <laughs> Obviously, this is a movie. You got to entertain it. The choreographing's got to be great. But you could see, even though people think Bruce Lee didn't fight, you could just see in this choreographing, he kind of knew. He knew. He sparred a lot, uh, and he used moves that are more realistic to a fight scene. All right, he's got his little footwork going on. Muhammad Ali style footwork. He was very influenced by Ali, man. Hit and don't be hit using that footwork would be harder for you to get hit so he believed in that you loved Muhammad Ali just be a little bit loose damn he just his movement so cool and this is the sort of movement that everyone imitates when they do Bruce Lee that sort of movement that hand movements the in and out footstep he done the fencing right so he was good at the in and out sort of stuff Blocking those kicks, another wheel kick, wheel kick other way, duck under. Again, it's that footwork, epic footwork, and that head movement. Everyone knew about that. Good boy. Ooh, leg kick. Again, he believed in leg kicks, man. That wasn't something that people used to do back in the days. Wicked. Wheel kick. Wheel kick. Leg kick. Wicked. Went from leg to body to head. Free in the head. I mean, defense was basic, but boy, that was quick. All off the front leg. That oblique kick, John Jones uses that well. And then fake the oblique kick, go up high. See, all these techniques, they, they, they can be used. John Jones used that oblique kick wicked. Punch the leg, punch the body. Intercepting fist, intercept that kick. Wicked. Oh, fucking hell, man. What was that left hook, right kick? Mm. Speed man, freaking hell. Chuck's getting wet. Alright, now he's trying to adapt, trying to use that footwork too. That's how it is. Again, again, I think that's the philosophy, just trying to adapt. But he lures though. 
Got wild hooks, boy. One leg turning kick to the face is amazing. So quick while your opponent's going back. Boom. Dislocated his arm, dislocated his leg, or broke it. Uh, he's fucked. It's made him disabled. Just take away two of his weapons, man. One arm, one leg. See, Bruce knows that it's done, man. Stop hopping. Stop hopping away. He knows that it's done. Chuck's a warrior. He's got heart. This is the heart of a heart of a warrior. He's martial artist. Man can't even stand. But this fights to the death, so they know, man. They know. They know what they signed up for. Oh, basic kick, man. Leave it, guy. Like leave it, come on, no need, no need for it. What epic epicness of these screens. Oh, look at that standing guillotine. We see that a lot in the UFC these days. It looks like an arm in, I'm not sure, but it looks like a standing standing guillotine. Again, a move used now that is very effective to choke out an opponent. Obviously, Bruce Lee killed his opponent, the karate champ. Chuck Norris. Freaking epic. Epic fight scene. What I loved about it as well, that it's old school, right? And this is where Bruce Lee was thinking outside the box. Well, he was just the only one thinking like this. And it's shot wide, so you can see all the movements rather than these close-up stuff that you see these days. These days with camera tricks, anyone could be a martial artist and fight amazingly and very flamboyant. But this is like widescreen, showing all the techniques, the kicks, the movements, the blocking. Absolutely amazing. Look at that, picking up Chuck Norris's his, uh, his gi and his black belt. Just gonna honor him in the Colosseum. Again, philosophy of martial arts. Even though it's a movie, you know, he believed in that philosophy. You know, covering his face with his gi, putting his black belt on him. It's all about respect and honor. You know, he fought with honor, fought with heart. So he's gonna honor him. Um, wicked, amazing. It's true martial arts honor. Hold on, let me pause this. Uh, basic stop. Wicked, all right. That was the first one. Bruce Lee versus Chuck Norris. Um, Way of the Dragon. Uh, absolutely awesome. Like I said, what I love about it is um, the, the, the it was shot wide, right? So you could see the fight scenes. You could see the movements, the turning kicks. The Bruce Lee always had his right leg forward, throwing those fast uh, turning kicks. You know, the step-in turning, turning kicks. A lot of wheel kicks, very traditional style, karate style. Wheel kicks coming from Chuck Norris. Again, these are all effective. <clears throat> these have been seen in UFC and MMA these days. Um, Bruce Lee had the footwork that he was influenced uh, by Muhammad Ali. Um, and they finished off with a standing guillotine. Absolutely amazing. I think it's... Guy was ahead of his time. It just shows in his movies. And again, all this, oh, he didn't fight, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. 
it's the philosophy, it's the mind frame of a martial artist and he, he had that and everyone loves him for that and again that was kind of like a, almost like a mixed martial art like he didn't really take it to the floor however he used grappling techniques which was the standing guillotine to finish off the fight um, he could have just choked him out and left him but you know this was a fight to death and then again beyond just the techniques of the martial arts and, and uh, of, of the fights that they were doing the honour, the respect, the philosophy of martial arts, you know, they both warmed up, they knew what they were getting into, they kind of, uh, and then he honoured him at the end, putting the key on top of him, putting the black belt on top of him, and kind of honoured it. Philosophy of martial arts, you've got to respect your opponent, you know, he's a martial artist, he's dedicated his life to learning this art form, <clears throat> so is Bruce Lee, your opponent, and, you know, and it's just not about fighting, it's about you, making you a better person as well. Um, there's so much to martial arts than fighting. Fighting is just one aspect of it. But anyway, guys, that was G-Man. That was toe to toe with G-Man. Um, I'll be doing one every week. Pick a different martial artist, a different movie. Um, every week, we'll just go through them. And if you guys have any suggestions, any fight scenes, let me know. Let me know. I'd love to check it out and give my thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for disliking. Comment, let me know. If you have, if you have a fight scene, let me know. I would love to check it out. But uh, I'll be back with a uh, toe-to-toe. So for now, G-Man out. Peace.